In the last episode we learned about register rest field function. So in this episode we are going to be using that same function uh, to display thumbnails of our movies right here above the titles of the movies. What I forgot to mention in the previous episode is that uh, when you are using register rest field function you can get pretty much any kind of data you want from your WordPress and uh, add it to your REST API. And why is that? That is because uh, we have this object ID right here. And once you get the ID of an object in WordPress you can get pretty much any kind of data you want from it. So just for example uh, for the post, uh, for this prepare rest that we did for the post before, as you can see, most of these uh, lines of code use this post ID. So that's the ID of our post. And with that ID, we can get the ID of the thumbnail. And then when we have the uh, thumbnail ID, then we can get the image source, so the URL to our thumbnail, and so on. So we are going to use that same logic logic right here. So I'm just going to copy this out, paste it down here, and I'm going to call my uh, field thumbnail. Okay, and instead of this uh, function show fields, we are going to be using function show image. And I'm just going to copy this out, paste it down here, and I can remove all of this. And now, remember, we have object ID, so we have the ID of the object. So what do we need to do? We, we just need to do something like thumb ID equals to get post thumbnail ID, and then we just use this object ID. And that's it. Now we have the ID of our thumbnail. Next thing we need to do, we need to get the source of the thumbnail or URL. So to do that, we just do, we'll, we'll just going to call this image, image equals to WP get attachment image source, and then we pass it this thumbnail ID, so thumb ID, okay, and set the size that we want. We want 300 by 180 and then we just return the image so we do return image okay let's see what we get save this refresh our rest api of course something went wrong i forgot to call this function show image but instead it was called show fields okay save this let's try it right now okay now we get this so we get thumbnail we get the URL of it, 300 by 180 and so on. So this is an array that we get from this function right here. Of course, we want just the URL. So the URL is always the first value in our array. So we are just going to do this. Zero, save it, refresh it. And now we just get the URL of our image. Of course, you can imagine how easy it's going to be for us right now to display that image using Vue.js. Now, in our movie list component, we just do that image uh, and uh, create a new uh, div with a class of image. And inside of there, we just do EMG. And instead of source, we would do, because we are using Vue.js, vbind src equals to movie dot thumbnail and that should be it except this should be v bind instead of v bind f or whatever it is okay save this let's check out our page right now and as you can see we get the thumbnails of those images so as you can see with using re uh, register rest field you can get pretty much any type of data that you want in your rest api okay so this is it for this video thank you for watching uh, please remember everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below uh, if you like this video please like it if you like the channel please subscribe to it also follow me on facebook or on twitter if you want 
and that's about it thank you guys for watching once again and i'll see you in the next episode